Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a quick spirit pick me up supporting your power and abundance. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to tap into the natural oracle for life for quick messages for the journey right now. We're going to tap into the divine power deck for messages that your divine power is being used for at this time or should be used for. We're going to tap into the real divine abundance deck to tap into messages to stay connected with source for real divine abundance. We're going to tap into the divine spirit deck messages from love ones passed on your spirit guides love angels archangels for messages this is going to be guidance on what just came out and we're going to end it with pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is so this is going to be quick clear messages quick spirit pick me up whatever the length of the video is i'll look up the angel number message and it will be the first pin comment on the video this is when we go in completely clear to get ready to receive messages to support us love support that thing for right now Okay, so let's get ready to receive for this quick spirit pick me up messages supporting your power and abundance. Messages for the journey to feel love, support, backing. It was 111 on the video when I said that. To feel love, support, backing. Yes. What are the messages that want to come for supporting us in the physical? Crystal power. <clears throat> Crystal power. I knew that was going to come out. Okay, so this is very clear. Crystal, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Op overcoming obstacles, crystal power. The clouds are parting now. An angel of peace. So, wow. Okay, so this is a message that wants to come through right now for all of us that love can part mountains to quite literally overcoming obstacles. So, love can part mountains. Remember, the ultimate power of love can remove obstacles and create amazing changes in your life. And see, there's beauty in overcoming obstacles now. So, that's the number one message that there's beauty in overcoming obstacles. Know that you're linked with divine as you're moving mountains, literally, of obstacles here. Crystal power, crystals can and literally can help calm, cleanse, and infuse your energy when you need it. Hold on to them for a moment and breathe. Recharge and center yourself and your home with crystal energy. Whenever you need a boost, uh, crystal power, but also just anything that's helping you clear, cleanse, calm, especially in the process of overcoming obstacles. They want you to know that the clouds are parting now. The sun is finally breaking through the clouds now and a difficult time has ended and moved on. So they want you to know that through this time, the clouds are parting and the angel of peace, peace angel is offering you peace right now from all the burdens you have been carrying. Release all burdens at our feet so you can be lighter now. So no doubt as you're overcoming obstacles, they're trying to cleanse, clear you and assure you that clouds will be parting, right? Difficult times will be over, better times ahead and their angel of peace is here to lay down your burdens and go lighter to literally i love when we get this card because literally the angels want you to unburden yourself it's been a repeating message to lay your burdens down at her feet so you can go on lighter um so through these times of obstacles definitely use everything in your toolbox to cleanse clear rejuvenate center they're assuring you that light is coming in that these difficult times will be over and lay your burdens down at the angel of peace here so that you can go on lighter so that is definitely what they want you to know so it's like the process of overcoming obstacles the process of cleansing clearing centering and laying down burdens going on lighter they're telling you that difficult times are ending and there's time to move on and go lighter and release your burdens so let's tap into the divine spirit i mean divine power deck and see what your divine power is being used for overcoming obstacles getting through things cleanse calm lay down your burdens at the angel of peace here let yourself feel unburdened Yeah, because right above the angel of peace, they're saying you, you have divine power to connect to always. So as you're overcoming obstacles, as you're going through difficult times, do things to calm, cleanse, clear, and remember that you have divine power to remain connected to always. So you can always unburden yourself, lay your burdens at her feet so you can move forward lighter now. 
they're with you and this is very important to remain connected to always it's been coming through in readings whatever you're doing to connect so that you're actually cleansing clearing calming recharging centering yourself because it is a time of getting through obstacles and difficult times to lighter times and in the process they want you to lay your burdens down on her feet quite literally like this is the message like through it all you have to find power to remain connected to always. Peace Angel is offering you peace right now from all the burdens you've been carrying. Release all the burdens at her feet so you can feel lighter. So they're definitely trying to make you feel lighter through this time despite the obstacles, despite difficult times. <clears throat> and you have to find power to tap into for clarity. So they're telling you to unburden yourself, remain connected always, and tap into them for the clarity, for the divine wisdom, the ways forward, quite literally, because they're saying now it's time to move on and the things to move on and how to move on, just like they're saying, cleanse, clear, release the burdens at her feet. You're going to have divine clarity, right? So they're helping you to do that. Um, lay down your burdens, continue to move forward, getting through obstacles. They're giving you the clarity, the divine wisdom to hold on to as you go through. So now, oopsie, we're going to tap into real divine abundance. Hold on one second. Let me move this over. Tap into for clarity. When you're connected and everything and you don't know your way, you're trying to find your way, they want you to cleanse and clear, lay down your burdens. Remember what you're connected to, go lighter, and you will receive the clarity. You will receive the clarity. You will receive the wisdom. It's part of your divine abundance. That's what they wanted me to uh, say right now. Okay, so real divine ab abundance. It's so early in the morning. I love starting my days like this, though, because it really talk about staying connected. As you're, it's leaning over here as we're overcoming obstacles. Remember what you're connected to, because that card is all about love can part mountains. Right? You're not doing anything alone. So this is love is with you as you're overcoming obstacles. Love is with you. Why does this want to turn over? No, you yeah, no, you always have divine help and support helping to create more abundance for you. Part of the obstacles is like know that they are with you always. And so there's something about laying laying burdens at their feet love remember love can part mountains remember the ultimate power of love can remove obstacles create amazing changes in your life and see there's beauty in overcoming any obstacles now that you always have divine help and support helping you to create more abundance for you um so that is definitely what they're saying. So they're with you. They're going to give you that clarity that whatever obstacles you're facing, you're not doing it alone. That somehow you're going to feel this presence. They're saying no wholeheartedly almost. That you have divine help and support helping you to create more. So lay down your burdens. Remain connected at all times. Okay? You can have... You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go further and higher. They're with you. You're connected to them always. They're always going to have you go further and higher. Like cleanse, clear, lay your burdens down, go further and higher. That's what they're saying. See the past as the past and greet today with fresh eyes and heart for opportunities. Do you see that? Keep going further and higher. See the past as the past. Greet today with fresh eyes and heart for opportunities. Lay your burdens down. Go forward. And we have create with all your heart and soul as those are divine ingredients for divine co-creations right now. Exactly. You're not doing this alone. Remember what you are connected to always. It reads like a sentence. So when you're facing obstacles together, remain connected to always lay your burdens at their feet. They want you to go lighter now, move lighter. And then it reads like a sentence. You know, you always have to find help and support helping to create more abundance. You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go further and higher, right? See the past as the past and greet today as you move on with fresh eyes and heart for new opportunities. And the last one is create with all your heart and soul for those are divine ingredients for divine co-creations right now. So cleanse, clear, recharge, right? You're overcoming obstacles together. You're moving mountains together. So don't get lost looking backwards. Past is the past. Move forward and know your heart and soul to find help and support helping you to create more and then create with all your heart and soul. Divine ingredients right now for co-creations. So they're keeping you like that. The pivotal thing is 
cleanse, clear, recharge, lay down your burdens and go forward with them. Remain connected and use all your co-creative. It's co-creations right now. You always have this. They're going to give you the clarity of how to be and hold on to that as you go forward, what to utilize. Use your divine ingredients for co-creations, right? This is about going farther and higher, fresh eyes and heart for new opportunities. You always have divine love and support helping you to create this. Staying connected with this is going to give you clarity. It's going to help you lay down your burdens, have light coming in through the clouds when it feels like obstacles or difficulties. <clears throat> You're co-creating. Your divine partners for co-creating. Yeah. Okay. So this is divine spirit messages. Yeah. They're telling you these are divine co-creations right now. Create with all your heart and soul for divine co-creations because they're telling you express yourself at this time and answer the call you're being given. There's something about really clearing out at this time and knowing that as you're going, quite literally, <laughs> that you're connected with them and they're just saying you're connected always connect with the clarity whenever you have divine ideas divine ingredients to pour out in some way you always have divine help and support and they're telling you to literally go forward with these co-creations just express yourself answer the call you're being given i mean that's where they're supporting your power right now so unburden yourself cleanse and clear going through obstacles new light coming in you're connected with them always Go forward knowing you have help and support helping you to create and then create with your heart and soul because those are divine ingredients. They're telling you part of your divine ingredients is literally to express yourself at this time. Just answer the call you're being given. You're being divinely moved. The calls you're getting are through the clarity you're getting, right? It's like when you get a divine idea, when you get a divine impulse, divine inspiration. So carry that out in the big and the small. Okay, let's end it with pure love from spirit. So this is very much so beautiful. I feel very unburdened. Like this is the second time it's coming up like this. Like lay down your burdens, greet everything freshly, stay connected with them with clarity, continue to use all your divine ingredients. They're with you for these co-creations. It's moving obstacles. It's creating change. It's um, with them, it's overcoming obstacles. With them, it's parting clouds, right? So beautiful. So always think of something that you can, right now, what can you do that will spur you on to go further and higher? How are you co-creating with them? This is about co-creating, supporting you to co-create, get past things. It landed on here. <clears throat> Answer the calls you're being given. We send our love. They send our love. We send our love. That's why I'm doing this. They send their love. They're supporting you as you're expressing yourself, as you're going forward now, using things for opportunities, co-creations, to go further and higher. They're helping you to create more abundance. They send their love. Stay connected with them or feel their love because love can part mountains. Love can part get through obstacles. We send our love to feel that love and support. Yeah, we're always here for you. We send our, like it says, it lands it on here. You have divine power to always, to remain connected to always. We are always here for you. We send our love. So no doubt it's angels of peace. And you could find that they're trying to help you unburden yourself in some way. So this card is almost like a major arcana in this deck. Peace angel is offering you peace right now from all the burdens you've been carrying. Release all the burdens at our feet so you can go lighter now. So you can... Be lighter now. Be lighter now. They're trying to have you be lighter now. Lay down your burdens. That love is with you as you're parting mountains, as you're moving obstacles, right? Um, as you're getting through things, they send their love that they're always there for you. Divine power to connect to remain connected to always. We're always here for you. We send our love. They're going to give you the clarity of how to get through things in a sense. They could also give you divine inspiration, things to do. These are co-creations. So definitely when they give you the clarity, express yourself, answer the call you're being given because you're 
part of the co-creations, right? Of making, parting the mountains, right? Getting through obstacles. It's going to be through your efforts. So know you always have divine help and support as you're doing this, creating better, creating more, overcoming obstacles. Um, so, and along the way, the major thing is this crystal power of cleansing, of clearing, of laying down your burdens is going to actually bring you back into power, right? If you cleanse, clear, recharge, calm, lay down your burdens, you get your power back and you're staying connected with divine power. They're sending their love. They're always here for you. But right now in the moments, like think of what you can do right now that gets you going, moving fo forward, farther and higher in vibration, farther and higher. Do you hear the honk? And then answer the call your, calls you're being given, the impulses, the divine clarity that you're getting, because here's the clarity. So they're kind of giving you the lights of what to do, how to do it. And they're with you as you do it, as you're creating. These are co-creations. But the key point to this is whenever you feel burdened, lay your burdens down at their feet. You are connected always and they're sending your love and they're overcoming obstacles. This will just really, you know, feed you. And then you just keep moving forward with the co-creations here. Literally express yourself into the call you're being given. Literally, you're creating with divine ingredients for co-creations. Part of your efforts is even as you're doing this, cleansing, clearing, laying down your burdens, remaining connected, feeling their love supporting you, your efforts are clearing the obstacles. Your efforts are parting the clouds. Um, so there's something about like, as you're, it's very, very important. And this has come through in all the readings that whenever you feel burdened, whenever you feel that you need to cleanse, let go of something, literally picture this card and lay, lay it at your, her feet so you can go lighter. This is all to support you to go lighter. And with that, then you're making other things outside through your co-creations, your efforts go lighter. Do you see that? Clouds parting obstacles, overcoming obstacles. Um, so that's where they're keeping you. Stay really connected right now. They're going to give you clarity along the way. They send their love. They're always here for you. So they want you to know that through these times, they're with you as you're doing this. But um, this is beautiful. So I wish you the best. Lay down your burdens. Lay down the burdens and keep going forward and know that you always have them with you and they're giving you a lot of clarity. And it could be with the things you're doing, but then also how to lay down your burdens yourself, how to claim more peace for yourself through these times, overcoming obstacles and going forward. They're spurring you on to go forward, but there's going to be a lot of calming, cleansing, all of this, staying very connected with them always, especially during this time. It's been a repeating message. And with that unburdened, with the clarity, what you're getting, go forward, express yourself, divine ingredients for co-creations, answer the call you're being given answer the call. Like when they give you inspiration, when they give you ideas, you implement it. It's getting you through obstacles, right? It's divine ingredients for divine co-creations right now. So keep going. They're saying every moment you have something right now that can spur you on to go further and higher. They're sending your, the love to do this, to overcome obstacles and also help your energy through this time as well. And the number one key thing through this time is to unburden yourself. This is the peace angel is with you. Peace angel is with you. Like hold this in your heart. It's going to help you during this time as you're doing this together with them. They're always there for you. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.